Orthodox ladies and gentlemen to the resurrection celebration of Holy Transfiguration Church. Many kids only think of Easter as a time for colored eggs, chocolate bunnies, and picnics. But as we grow up spiritually, we realize it is much a deeper, deeper and more holy than a time than food and fun. Easter is a time when we remember the resurrection of our Lord. God, Savior, and Jesus Christ. We cannot speak of the resurrection without remembering what happened on Holy and Good Friday. On that blessed day, the world was forever changed. From that holy moment, we were forever changed. Through his death, we were made alive. Through that darkness, the light rose. In chapter 19 of this gospel, St. John Beloved writes, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, asked Pilate, that he might take the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him permission. So he came and took the body of Jesus. Nicodemus also came, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pounds. Then they took the body of Jesus and bound it in strips of linen with the spices, as the custom of the Jews is to bury. On the twelfth hour of Good Friday in the church, the priest covers an icon of the Lord Jesus Christ with flowers and spices and perfumed oils, covering it with a strip of linen. During this awesome moment, the entire congregation chants um, the hymn Golgotha. This ancient hymn is said to be chanted in ancient Egypt when the pharaohs were being buried. <laughs> Thank you. 
not from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there is darkness over all the land. Matthew 27, 45. If you remember from the sixth to the ninth hours of Good Friday, all lights and candles are turned off in the church. For at this time, Christ, the light of the world, was crucified and died on the cross. Before the resurrection of the new creation, there was darkness. And before the first creation of Jesus, there was also darkness. Not only on Good Friday, but on the night of the Resurrection Feast, all lights and candles again are extinguished from the church. This time we hear an announcement of the resurrection of the Lord that occurs between the altar and the church, or heaven and earth. During the holy 50 days of the resurrection, the church calls the Lord by the name, the King of Glory. In Psalm 96 that says, the Lord reigned on the wood of the cross. This King of Glory not only gives us life, but power of transformation. On the Easter liturgy, we remember the changes from darkness to light, from hate to victory, from paradise, from sin to forgiveness, and from death to life. 1 Corinthians 15.55 says, O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? As we find the door of the tomb opened by the angel, the gates of paradise are found open by the Savior, the King of glory. Psalm 23 describes how the Lord opened the doors of paradise once more to Adam and Eve and all the righteous. This was only made possible through his holy death and resurrection. The holy resurrection is likely the greatest of all feasts in our church. We not only celebrate the we not only celebrate the resurrection every year, but also every month, every week, and every month. Every day, every day in the first hour of the Holy Agbaya, as we ri rise from our sleep, we remember the Lord's rising from the tomb. Almost, almost every Sunday, we read the in the Mass Mass Gospel of the Resurrection of the Lord. Also, during the midnight praise, during the Holy Fifty Days, we chant to Him, who is like in the tears.